And welcome back everyone. This is Ted the Talking Stamp Collector with another episode of Ted Talk Stamps. And it seems my last episode where I talked about Scott Catalog's new subscription uh, plan struck a nerve with quite a few collectors out there. That is, nobody's pleased with this new with this new expensive system where you pay the same price but only get access to the catalog for one year. Now I did mention a couple of alternatives uh, offered by Stanley Gibbons. They're my collection uh, subscription service, which is only, it was less than 50 bucks a year. And you get access to the uh, Stamps of the World catalog, as well as a catalog system, a cataloging system for your own collection. Then I also mentioned the Michelle online uh, catalog, which for $14 or $15 gets you access to the worldwide Michelle catalog system. In this episode, I thought I'd just go over a few other uh, less expensive alternatives, starting with free. And if you're a U.S. collector, a great free catalog is to go to Mystic Stamp Company. They have a catalog online of every U.S. stamp because they do sell them, of course, and they are numbered by the Scott numbering system. So you can use their online catalog just as you would, say, a Scott catalog. So you go to www.mysticstamp.com and on the front page you'll see Benjamin Franklin, U.S. Scott number one. Click on him and you'll be taken to Mystic Stamps full U.S. stamp catalog. You can, you can pick whatever decade you want to start with, say the 1960s and even down to what year you want to check, 1964. Then just start scrolling through Every stamp is pictured, every stamp is numbered, every stamp is priced, but you don't want to buy their stamps. Next, you're probably all familiar with StampWorld.com. This is a worldwide online free uh, stamp catalog, although they have a paid tier that, that gets you extra features. I'm not really sure. I've never tried out the paid tier. And I, whenever the subject of stampworld.com comes up online, someone inevitably comments, oh, well, their catalog values aren't, you know, aren't accurate. No catalog values are accurate. But I'll tell you what, stamp worlds are a little less inaccurate than Scott's. Stamp World comes in at lower catalog values, generally speaking, than Scott. And then another free alternative you should be aware of is Colnect.com. Colnect isn't just a stamp, uh, stamp site. It's a collectible site. They cover stamps, coins, phone cards, I don't know, Beanie Babies, all kinds of stuff. Colnect does not give you catalog values. That's not their thing. They're only cataloging the stamps. And they provide various catalog numbers that you may be interested in. And one particularly neat feature of Colnect is they have a stamp ID feature. They have a app you can download for Android or iPhone called Stamp Identifier. Go over to the App Store key and stamp identifier and it'll come right up download it and just a couple of days ago only I found out that there is a desktop computer version of the stamp identifier and it works like this you can go to the main stamp collecting catalog page and just above the blue nav boxes you'll see a box labeled image search Click on that and you're taken to a page where you can 
click on the folder and upload an, a scan or an, a downloaded image of the stamp you wish to identify. Here's one from, from my computer. It is a souvenir sheet from Hungary. I upload it and it appears on the screen. And then it shows us two possibilities. If we click on this first one, actually click on both of them in different tabs. And this one appears to be a, a variant as it does not list the various catalog numbers. It shows the the Philatelia Hungarica catalog. So we look at the other one and we see that it does show the Michelle number, the stamp number, the Iver Atelier number, Stanley Gibbons number. And if we compare the two, we'll see that this standard one has a sideways shield watermark, whereas the variant has a vertically oriented shield. So for those who think that Colnec may not be as good as Scott, well, the standard Scott catalog does not list the, the variant watermark. So there we have some free alternatives to the Scott Worldwide Catalog. If you don't mind paying for your catalogs, there are also some less expensive alternatives. For example, in a previous video on uh, going to Hobby Lobby, I showed you the H.E. Harris. That's available on Amazon for just $27. And that covers the United States, United Nations, Canada, and Canadian provinces. And it uses the Scott numbering system. Now their values, as I pointed out in that previous episode, are quite high, but again, catalogs are virtually useless for looking up catalog values. If you wanna know what the value of your stamp is, look it up on any of the online marketplaces like, you know, Hip Stamp and uh, Stamps to Go or any other site you might think of. Also similar to the H.E. Harris catalog is the Brookman catalog, which is virtually the same thing. It's uh, US, Canada, UN, and it also uses Scott numbering. And just like Harris, Harris is a retail operation you order stamps through them. Brookman is also a retail operation. So these, both of these catalogs are basically just sales catalogs for those respective companies, similar to what Gibbons is to Great Britain. Now, if you want to get a little more specialized, if you are interested in just Canada, there is uh, the Unitrade Specialized Catalog of Canada. And the nice thing about it is, it also uses the Scott numbering system. But as the name implies, it is a specialized catalog. It lists tons, tons of varieties that you won't find in the Scott catalog. And as you can see here from this online ad for Brooklyn Gallery, it's only $49 compared to $100 for the uh, volume that contains Canada from Scott. Now, if you don't mind giving up the Scott numbering, there are also other, I want to say specialized, but not specialized, but uh, single country catalogs that are quite affordable. The uh, Michelle catalog puts out a junior catalog although it's not called the Junior anymore, it's called the Michelle Compact Catalog. As you might expect, it is not specialized. It's just the basic 
the basic varieties of the stamps listed. But it's also quite a bit less expensive. As you can see, it's about $15. However, however, <laughs> shipping. I, I haven't found any stateside dealers selling the compact. So we're stuck with finding overseas dealers where the shipping costs at least as much or more than the catalog itself. But keep checking around. You might find a, uh, a U.S. dealer that will eventually stock it. Another limited geographic region catalog is the, my nose, <laughs> is the Unificado Junior catalog, which covers the Republic of Italy, San Marino, Vatican, and SMOM, the uh, Sovereign Military the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, more commonly known as the Knights of Malta. Uh, this is a older edition, 2009, but it was 15 euros at that time. I'm not sure how much it is now, but I guarantee you it'll be quite a bit cheaper than buying that same volume from Scott. There are many other catalogs, too, that you can buy if you specialize in you know, certain regions, certain countries, like the for Austria, there's the A&K catalog. For Poland, there's the Fischer catalog. Greece has the Karamitsos catalog. And um, Turkey, especially the Ottoman Empire, there's the Isfila catalog. I've gotten all of those and they were a lot cheaper, even with overseas shipping. They were quite reasonably priced. In fact, they were downright cheap. <laughs> so I hope you found this a bit informative in that if Scott has priced you out of the market for a catalog, there's no need to despair. There are plenty of other alternatives and, you know, if they don't have Scott numbers, who cares? It's they're easy enough to find if you really need them. So, until next time, this is Ted the Talking Stamp Collector, reminding you that old stamp collectors don't die, they just come unhinged. So, happy stamping, see you next time.